Hi guys, it's La Harpio here. Hope you're having a great day. Um, so it came to my attention uh, through you know playing VR chat and things like that that there are uh, there's some other alternative ways of getting your voice and computer audio into into uh, into a game such as VR chat. So what we're going to do today is have a look at another application from the same guys as uh, the virtual audio cable. Uh, it's called Voice Meter. Um, now there's two versions of this. There's a regular version and a banana version. And I checked out the regular version and I was hoping to make a video on it, but it, it really, I wasn't, I really wasn't happy with the software. And then I discovered that there's uh, a version of the software which does exactly what I uh, what I wanted. What I, what I felt was lacking from the original, so thankfully that actually already exists. So we're going to have a look at that today. Now, to access that, again, links as always will be in the description. Um, we're going to have a look here. It's vbaudio.com slash voice meter slash banana, which I'm sure you can access through. As you can see up the top, you can access through their menu. Now, I've not installed. I have installed this and played around with it, but for the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to start from scratch. So I have uninstalled it and. Um, we're gonna go for that. So, Voice Meter Banana Advanced Mixer. So you can see there's the interface there, and I'll explain it. I'll go through the interface and explain all what it uh, what it all means um, when we get to the stage. So we're gonna. You can either download it apparently as a zip or as an executable. Um, I'm just gonna download the exe. And we're gonna install this with admin rights. I'm just going to press install. Okay, okay, so as you can see it says we have to reboot our system, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and I will catch you in a few minutes. Well, a few seconds on your end. Okay guys, we are now back. Now, <clears throat> hopefully you have realized by this point that you need to start voice meter banana when your computer restarts. Um, and that will start the engine. Now you can tell it to start when Windows starts, which I advise that you do. Now you can do that up through uh, menu, and we can do it there. Sys uh, system tray run on startup, make sure that's selected. I also have uh, show app on startup selected as well. Now, this is actually my third take of this section of the video because I've fucked it up twice. Fantastic, well done. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go for take three and uh, I'm confident that I have everything sorted and uh, balanced. So what we're going to do now is go through what exactly voice meter banana is. Now when you start it, make sure that you're starting the banana version and not just the voice meter version. The difference between the two versions is this. Voice meter banana, or sorry, voice meter the original has, I think, two inputs, two hardware inputs. So for example, you might have a microphone, you might have a line in, and it has one virtual in, such as, which would in turn be the computer audio. It outputs to two hardware outputs and one virtual output. Now, that uh, that's great, but it's not ideal for what we want. Now, the reason for that is, excuse me, we want to be able to separate general computer audio such as game noise and various other things from the audio that we want to play through into our my into our virtual microphone so that's where the two virtual uh, ends come in here so you can see we have let's go through it we have three hardware inputs two virtual inputs and five outs, three of which are virtu uh, physical and two of which are virtual. Now, there's not much that I've changed here since I've started recording again. There's a few things, and you're going to go through them. So hardware input one is my microphone, the Blue Snowball. Hard put, hard, blah, 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 hard put in hardware input two. Two, we are not going to, and hardware input three, we're not going to be using them at all, so we can disable those. You can use them by all means. Now, virtual in, and the two virtual ends, this is where the, this is the fucking, this is where it all happens. Like, this is the good, this is the good shit. What we want to have a look at here is if we look at playback devices, these are two virtual ends. Now, virtual voice meter aux input is the right hand one, you can see it there, this one right here. And voice meter input is the left hand one, this one right here. 
So, any as the way that I've got it set up right now, with voice meter input being the default, any audio that is generated by my computer, such as from a YouTube video, and I'll demonstrate that right now. Let's listen to this. I'm just, yep, yeah, cool. That will be playing into voice meter input, which in turn comes into this one here, which in turn goes out. Because we've got A1 selected, which is this one right here, and we've got B1 selected, which is this one right here, which is what OBS is recording off of. Um, because both of those are selected, you're getting both my mic, because B1, and we're getting that audio because B1 is selected here. If I turned on A1 up here, which it will be on by default, you want to turn that off unless you really like the sound of your own voice and I'm going to turn it off because it's really uncomfortable. Um, you want to turn that off for, for hardware input one. So, so now we have our default we have our, all of our computer audio playing into voice meter VAIO, the first, uh, a, we'll call it this one here, vo vo voice meter VAIO, this one here, the left hand side. Now, that's fine, we don't want that to output to our virtual microphone, so we're going to turn off B1 on that, okay? The next thing we want to do is we want to boot something up that will play audio to a specific device, such as VLC. <clears throat> In this case, I'm going to be using FL Studio because I've been working on some music lately, and I just happened to, coincidentally, do I fuck, try to shamelessly plug my fucking music, which it doesn't even really exist. Anyway, you're going to hear some of my shite in FL Studio, and it's going to get outputted into Voice Mirror Aux. Now, if you use FL Studio, you might be familiar with some of this. I'm just going to quickly show you. Good lord, what happened to my toolbars? Oh, no, 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 I don't like that. Anyway, that's by the by. We'll go options MIDI, uh, options audio, FL Studio, uh, uh, ASIO, you can use whichever one you want. Ooh, and these are new, I'm, I'm going to have to play around with those. Show ASIO panel, output to the aux input. Now, if I hit play on this, I'm going to turn it down a wee bit because I think the last time I tested it was quite loud. Okay. So you should now be hearing, uh, hopefully, or else I'm going to have to do another fucking take, you should now be hearing some of my shitty beats as well as uh, my voice, my glorious booming voice. Um, so... That, in a nutshell, is us complete. Now, what I want to show you is a few things. If I turn off A1 on Voice Mirror Aux, then it's going to output to the virtual mic, but it's not going to output to my headset, which I don't advise that you do, unless you want to be playing stuff in VR chat or wherever that you don't actually want to hear yourself, which I'm sure there's some of you fuckers out there that are going to do that. Um, I recommend keeping your general computer audio is set to the voice meter VAIO and leave that on as A1 which is this is essentially now your master headphone volume or you know whatever and now by the way you can control that up in the top right here so I have for example A1 is going out to my headphones let's set A2 to go out to my speakers I wonder if this is going to cause feedback this might cause feedback let's try it so if I output A1 and A2, if I play something, it should uh, it should output to both and it will feed back through the mic. Okay, so that is confirmed that the audio there was outputting from both, it was going from YouTube to my headset uh, and to my speakers at the same time, which is Actually, really cool. There's not much uses for that, but you know. So you turn off A2 for now. Um, A3 again. You can use it if you want. If you have a third audio device, whatever, it's up to you. Um, and B2 again. B2 could have its own use. But that's um, that's pretty much us. Now, obviously, I would love to show you this in VR chat, but VR chat's fucking broken right now. So, rip.
Um, I'm not going to be able to do that. But all you really need to do is make sure that in VRChat, your uh, microphone is set to um, voice meter output, this one here. So that's it. Now, as usual, um, any comments, please comment. Comment on uh, the video. Uh, ask me questions. If you can't get it working, I will do my utmost best to help you. If you're in the Marching Kit and Discord, which I'm going to post this in, if you want, you can message me and I will do my best to help you. Um, I got some support on this on the last video I did, so if you want to drop a like, or drop a fucking like, good lord, I actually fucking said that, oh my god. Fuck. Um, if you do want to support me, then feel free to subscribe. I really don't mind. I'm, I don't know how often I'm going to be making videos. I enjoy doing it. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll see what the future holds. Um, Alright, cool. So hopefully you get it working. Any other questions, again, feel free to comment. If you're in the Discord, feel free to message me. Um, and we'll go from there. Uh, links, as required, are in the description. Thanks very much, guys. Cheers. Have a good one.